Uh, we have this first story comes from JB, and he uh, wrote it earlier this month, and it's just called uh, uh, Hillbilly's Divorce. <laughs> I'm looking forward to reading this one. <laughs> Hillbilly Divorce. So after being married for eight and a half years, I should have known something was wrong. I, I worked full-time night shift and guided salmon and steelhead during the day. Now that, to me, sounds like an urban dictionary thing. You might want to have a doctor pull down your pants and have a look at it. <laughs> I should have known something was drastically wrong when the sex just suddenly stopped. That means she's banging somebody else. Yes. Anybody else in the same boat on that one? Um, well, I think we did this, uh, we did a video of what women say and what they mean. Yeah. Uh, chick speak. Yeah, chick speak, yeah. Like, uh, I need space. And the rest of that sentence. Without you in it. Without you in it. <laughs> <laughs> when they don't bang you or, you know, that, my personal favorite, you know, when I was with somebody who at the time I didn't realize was cheating on me was, well, I don't like how I taste after you go down on me. Uh, it's because somebody else is stirring up your your insides with their... Coffee creamer. Oh, it's, it still grosses me out to think about it. You got to stir yeah. the cauldron of yeah. doom. My, my my favorite translation is anytime she professes anything, just add the words right now. <laughs> I love you so much. Right now. Right now. I'll be with you forever. Right now. Well, it's or, called or, the for only, now. Well, it's called <laughs> yeah. the only ifs and the for now. The only ifs and yeah. for nows. Uh, where were we? I shook it sure. off thinking I was just working too much and needed to spend more time with my family. So for six months, I made the adjustment intentionally, making time for my wife and kid. But there was no change. Nope. Nice. Well, she's probably she's getting one of these. Maybe it was this color. Maybe they were doing this at the same time. Or maybe, By the way, ooh, it's really gay. Maybe we should put her down for three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How many yeah. dicks have you had in you at the same time? <laughs> I'll put you down for three. <laughs> You never heard that. You never heard that story, Skid. Oh, well, I've I've heard lots of your stories. Okay. Are, I, I just it's hard. They they all start to merge together a little. bit. I was like forty four or forty. Maybe yeah. That was like that wasn't even that long ago. That was like your beta testing run in New York when you were out there. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think I uh, I did that like eighteen months into my New York uh, deployment. Yeah, I, I think I could still smell like the cheap bar beer on you when you came back and told me that story. <laughs> Nice. Woo! Yeah, it was draft. It was a yeah, draft. It was a draft beer. It was a draft beer. It's always draft beer. Mm. Uh, I started getting a bit frustrated after not getting any attention for over a year. Well, then what? Ooh. A year. <clears throat> Red flag. Uh, that's a black flag, that's gentlemen. Really yeah, easy. ninety yeah. days, and that's it. Yeah. One year? No. No. And, unless somebody's paralyzed or dealing with cancer, that that's a whole other thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and even then, you know, <laughs> what was that movie? Breaking the Waves was about it, like a chick, you know, like that they were like the love of each other's lives, and then he had some sort of debilitating accident, and he couldn't use his junk anymore. So he's like, "You go out and do you, baby. I just knowing that you're getting it'll make me happy." I'm like, well, wasn't that a scene in The Boys when like Homelander comes in to see uh, his Nazi chick, and she's like in the hospital and half dead, and yep. she still gives him a handy there beside the bed? <laughs> I was like, there you go, there you go. Yep. <laughs> During Shark Week, sometimes my wife will just look over at me and be like, "Awkward handy? Why does it have to be awkward? <laughs> Why can't it be a loving handy?" <laughs> <laughs> You got to be careful with that. You could get degloved. <laughs> ah! It comes off like Arnold Schwarzenegger's forearm in Terminator Two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not cool. Well, they, they if do... it was metal underneath, that would be the tits. Well, the thing is, in real life, they tear your, the skin off your forearm to make a, a false penis, yeah, and sew it on to uh... the, the man-made bratwurst. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's just say they sew the snuffleupagus thing on the. Bleeding axe wound. Yep, and forty-one percent of the time they cry just like Snuffleupagus. Didn't, didn't you make a video? Of, oh no, you made a video about the other way around, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was that was like I genocide. Was man, that was yeah. awful. <laughs> yeah. 
that video, man. Like, there's still people in the chat who get nightmares over that shit. Oh, oh, no, not as good as when you took the chocolate milk in the face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah, know how yeah, yeah. she gray feels. That, the hazards of my job, I know. Occupational. <laughs> no one hazards. said comedy was clean. No. No one. No, in fact, clean comedy is not really that funny. It's really right. not. No. Some of it is. F that. There's a couple comedians that can do it pretty good. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's his name from uh, Back to the Future? Tom Wilson. His mm-hmm. style of comedy is very clean, very funny. Oh, Bill Cosby. Yeah, Bill Cosby is always a very clean guy, too. And uh, as uh, Foxworthy got more famous out of the clubs and started having a family, his comedy went very clean. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So. Yeah, you're right. Uh, all right, where are we? Uh while all the while she was dropping our daughter off at my parents so she could go fishing with my friends mm. and another guy that I knew who had free time. So uh <laughs> she was hanging out at the fishing hole. Well, she figured mm. if she went fishing with these guys it would mask the smell. Well, she's f- hanging out the fishing hole getting strange pole. <laughs> And it's probably some vada. <laughs> yeah, come back with some stinky vada. Got her in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was stupid to think anything was or could be going on because to quote Pop, she loves. That's me. right. <laughs> he loves me. <laughs> she would never do that. The thing he is, do that. <laughs> is most. And, and uh, listen, if there's guys out there who are married, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to break the bubble right now just give it to them now man straight most of the time once you've been married longer than six or seven years your wife is definitely testing foreign poles (laughs) yeah she's she's trying to get that seven year itch scratch every now and again you are going to have a salty dna deposit (laughs) that you may or may not know about usually you don't so uh just god get cool with it now there was a text message conversation that i saw of this guy telling him like oh by the way i want you to know your girlfriend is stepping out on your bruh you know and and he tells him when that happened oh and it's i think she's stepping out on me too because she tasted kind of funky the other night like dude i i like i I made a deposit right to the warehouse before she went out with her (laughs) friends and he's like Dude, your cum tastes like shit, bruh. Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah. That's how people get yeah. shot. That's how Not people cool. get shot. Not oh, cool. my God. <laughs> hey, you bastard. I even see that one. <laughs> God. We're, we're, we're grossing out. We are, here. We're grossing everybody out here. Yeah. Okay. So, was it till the day after this other guy and his wife went out to dinner for my ex's birthday with us that the pieces started to fall into place? The way those two acted was beyond fishy, and it smelled I see what like you did there. <laughs> we had made plans to go steelhead fishing with another couple, and she canceled. Mm. That's right. I went on the trip as planned. Well, that, that's, that's yeah. <laughs> when the when the husband's away, uh, the pussy will play. Yep. She didn't get home till hours after I did, and claimed that they got stuck. And had to get towed out. <laughs> All right. How many jokes can we make about this? Uh, she many. got stuck <laughs> she several got, times. Yeah. She, she got stuck. It was in the wrong hole. Yeah, uh, And, uh, and uh, all of the people who were participating just couldn't <laughs> find time to pull out. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's when you when you try to fit more than one in the hole at a time. I mean, That's a, th- <laughs> a hole in one. Let's go uh, three in one. Be like Yeesh. two of those uh, wamalos on on those big fat scooters trying to force their way through the door at the same time. <laughs> it's not going to happen. You get what we call gridlock. <laughs> gridlock. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, I got to write that down. Or if it was the '80s, grids lock. <laughs> you know, before they renamed it to the more politically correct term. <laughs> but you know, as uh, Skid knows, uh, being out in the land of California, stand, we need to get rid of the stigma. Uh, uh, actually, uh, that's a good. Uh, Title for a comedy, you know, a gridlock <laughs> for <laughs> fat women. <laughs> oh god! And then redneck figuring, and don't forget mud flaps. Uh, you know, when the when the gut hangs over, and you know, uh, yeah, let me write that. That that that's a term. That's not actually. That's just disgusting. All right, we're, this is all disgusting. <laughs> Anybody else hungry? I didn't think so. Well, listen, this is a serious <laughs> subject. It is. So we're making it fun. Is. 
We have mm. to because, like, if you if we're all serious about it, it gets it gets really bad. Yeah, uh, just <laughs> show me with thumbs up in the chat, guys. How many dudes something like this has happened to? I'll just watch them tick by. Yeah, and you don't have to be married for it to happen. I mean, yeah. Mm-mm. I mean, in the military, I got dear John twice. Oh yeah. And then uh, in my entire life, I've had probably eight really nasty breakups mm. and a divorce. There you go. So, um, yeah. Yep. All right, here we go. A big fight ensued, resulting in her leaving, which she wanted to do anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two days later, the other man's wife contacted me and read me in on the affair that had been going on for months by this point. Already got four thumbs up in the chat. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was devastated. I contacted my wife and told her we need to talk. I confronted her, of course, and she tried to deny it. But by that point, I had all the proof I needed. Well, yeah, unless you catch them in the act, women never cop to this. And it doesn't matter anyway because of no fault divorce. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it doesn't mean shit. Yeah. That, don't even think that that means anything anymore. That's long gone. <laughs> Agent Four is like, I was the guy she cheated with. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well, nice. at least it wasn't ice fishing, because as we know, in cold weather, all men really are created equal. Just well, you know, most people don't know that uh, when you're really cold, your dick is as long as your nose. That's a true story. No one's hole punching hemorrhoids with an ice cock. I'm just no, saying. That's right. You know, <laughs> You're not getting nothing done with an ice cock. Oh, God, that image. <laughs> Hole-punching hemorrhoids. Write that down. <laughs> oh, Jesus, where do you come up with this shit? I don't know. <laughs> You're it's a not... goddamn genius. I think there's a fucking devil on this shoulder sometimes just, like, whispering horrible shit to me. I don't get it. Ugh. Let's call it hole-punching hemorrhoid cock. <laughs> <laughs> there's a little bit of blood on the tip. That means you did it right. <laughs> So for about a year, I tried working it out. Don't even say it. Which was stupid. Yeah, we know this. All right. (laughs) All right. Now listen. (laughs) Let's just be honest. And I even went through this myself when I found out that my my wife was stepping out on me. Yeah. When I was like, I thought maybe it was just one person. Maybe we could like go to counseling and work through this. And then I found out. It was a forest of cocks. I mean, this is actually a pretty accurate representation. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, there was <laughs> that's kind of there was some rice. I'm sorry, they're in the wrong way. I need to listen. There was egg rolls, kubasa. <laughs> I mean, it, it covered everything. Now, listen, I'm going to be honest. Even if it's just one time that you know of, that's it. It's it. It's done. That's it. Don't stick around. No. Get the hell out. Salvage whatever you can. Yeah. All right. C- continue the story. I'm just because it's otherwise it, it's it is pointless. It, it becomes once, so once she has that level of disdain and disrespect oh, for yeah. you, you're not going to earn it back. No. Yeah. Well, and the the guys are missing that abundance mentality, right? I mean, you you think that well, I can work on this because I need this, and no, you don't. Yeah, get out there. You're you're you've got opportunity costs you don't even know about. Mm-hmm. Get out there and get moving. Well, another thing too is that there's a lot of guys out there who, especially if they're married to her, they just they don't want to believe that this person who did this to them is the real woman. They want to believe that the woman who love bombed them because she had something to gain is the real person, and it's a it's a real hard reconfiguring of your thinking, me to oh, yeah. get you out of that headspace. Listen, uh, it took me <clears throat> about two years. Two years. Two years in that the, the first year I was going through the divorce, and about a year after the divorce for me to work through a lot of that stuff. And even yeah. then, it was still tough. Yeah, it's very tough. I, I wrote come the, out of that. Yeah, I started out of the writing. Is tough. Yeah, I started writing the book, The Warrior's Way, Soldier yeah. Soul Warrior's Way, right right around two thousand nine. Writing really helps you get your shit in order when you're going through a rough time. Well, the thing is, that whole book is actually the programming for my new brain. Because <laughs> <laughs> the way I used to operate, it wasn't working anymore. Because that brain was fucked. Yeah, and I had to work with the brain that I had. Sean St. George says, "Damn it, Pop! I can't think of egg rolls and kielbasa the same way ever again." 
<laughs> Nor should you. Nor should you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kubasa and a sticky bun just don't seem to work out. <laughs> well, the sticky bun comes at the end. <laughs> And it leaks into all the crevasses. Oh. Yeah. Ah! Fear the syrup. Fear the, all the syrup, especially as it's dripping out. Ah. God Gross. damn. Anyway, we decided to divorce. I was wanting to do an uncontested case because it would have been better for everyone, especially Fourth our mistake. daughter. I was just going to split everything right down the middle. The only part I couldn't figure out was the spousal maintenance. She and her friends had it in their head that I was trying to cheat her out of something. They always do that, actually. Of course. Yeah. You need to get what you're owed. You're not owed shit when you step out of the marriage contract. She went and hired an attorney and had me served. I had to move in with my parents while she stayed in my house for free. And so it begins. And so it begins. All the while I was paying her around 1200 a month, knowing that would be what I would have to pay. In her papers, she was trying to get almost 4000 a month out of me, which would have bankrupted me. Whoa! I went and hired an attorney. Tried, tried to being fair, as I you know know that my state is very pro mother. They like all everyone. are actually. Yep. Our first court appearance went mostly my way, with the judge ruling that twelve hundred was fair and give me fifty fifty custody. Well, yeah. Well, that's that is a huge win right there. Yep. That's when the crap hit the fan. Oh, here we go. She started messaging me, stating that I would never see her or my kid again and being a terrible person. Mm -hmm. My only responses to her was that if she needed to discuss matters concerning our daughter to talk with me, all else <laughs> otherwise, leave me alone. <laughs> I screenshotted two months' worth of messages and sent them to my attorney. Our see, next now he's thinking. Now he's thinking. Yeah, that's what job. you got to do. This is job. administrative yeah. violence now. Yeah. Our next court appearance got interested. Mm -hmm. She tried claiming I was being hostile and was mentally abusive trying to get a court order against me. My attorney simply walked up showing the judge the messages. Long and now funny story. I got 50-50 custody, kept my house, and only wound up paying two years of spousal maintenance. You shouldn't have to pay anything. Oh no, That's she, so stupid. She stepped out and she tried to weaponize the court against him fraudulently. They do that all the time. The, the judge should have been like, okay, you're done. We're out. In fact, I think I'm going to call another comedy video in the future called So It Begins. So It Begins. And all the shitty shit that happens <clears throat> during a divorce. Oh, yeah. You could you know do that. And then there's the, uh, the, the So It Begins. After everything has already ended amicably, <clears throat> she leaves you for someone. But then that someone breaks it off with her. Or you get a girlfriend. Or you get remarried. Yeah. That's the one that really cooks them They off. really mm -hmm. go nuts after that. Oh, yep. yeah. They can't stand to see you having a good time, man. Oh, no. no. You're, <laughs> you're supposed, supposed to be broken. <laughs> if you're actually doing all right, that drives them crazy. You are supposed yeah. to be a crippled, shallow, hollowed out version of your former self. And nothing less than that, short of your actual you know, self-inflicted death, is going to be good enough for them. It, it is very true. I mean, it, 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 they say it tongue in cheek, but living well really is the best revenge. It drives them crazy. Amen. Crazy. Yep. I love and, these. Now stories, listen, guys. I know them. we're we're making a bunch of jokes about this guy's story, and I'm not. I, I we're not being disrespectful to the person who wrote the story. No. But not at all. we have to already. we have to attack this with comedy. Yeah, and the dudes. Are the, there's a an episode coming out Monday where we read about a dude who is oh God, King White Knight of the Universe, and he said flat out, he's like, "This is called Death of a White Knight, and I expect you to rip me a new asshole." Because this dude not only made every mistake in the book, he made some of them twice. By the numbers! He fucked up by the numbers and the entire alphabet just for good measure. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.